Hello and welcome. I am Jimmy Lanley. I work for Bright Ideas Press and I'm going to be moderating a short question and answer session with two very important people in our Bright Ideas Press family. I have with me today Tyler Hogan, the president of Bright Ideas Press, and Linda LaCour Hobar, who is the author of the Mystery of History series. The two of them are going to answer some common questions that we've received about the new Mystery of History Online Academy. So I'm going to jump right in and ask Tyler the first question. Tyler, what is this Mystery of History Online Academy and what will it be like? Well, we're really excited about offering this online academy. So starting this fall, fall of 2016, we'll be accepting junior high and high school students to come and join Linda Hobar as she teaches through the Mystery of History. So we're going to be starting this year with Volume 3, The Renaissance, Reformation, and Growth of Nations. And each week the students will be able to listen to Linda's lectures, have a chance to ask her questions about the lesson and interact with their peers in the class. Uh, and then they'll do their activities at home and uh, be able to view any additional information on the website, YouTube videos that we post or links that Linda provides, and then take their quiz online and have it graded for them automatically. And there's going to be two different formats. The first is a live class with Linda Hobar, so you can log in on Tuesdays and get to sit in live and listen to her and ask her questions. But for people who can't make that time period, there's also going to be a recorded version of the class in what we call the self-paced option. So depending on what works best for your homeschool, both of those options are available. Wow, this is so exciting. Linda, tell us when do these classes begin and exactly when will they meet? Well, real quick, let me back up just a minute before I answer that question and just fill you in. I have never been more excited about teaching because just a couple of weeks ago, I was able to have 450 high schoolers in my hands for three hours at a teen track at a homeschool convention, and I just want to tell you, it was a blast. They were awesome. We had such a good time plowing through World War I and World War II, so I loved my hands-on time with those students, which has just really um, got me psyched up for this fall. But to answer your question the weekly live classes they will start August 30th that's on a Tuesday this coming August 30th and they'll run through about May 2nd with a few built-in holidays and as for the time of day the live classes will meet Tuesdays at 10 that's central time where I live um, and an optional class we believe maybe at 2 o'clock in the afternoon now the self-paced classes those are going to be available starting September 6th because what we'll do is actually film the live session and then make that available for the self-paced classes. So there'll be a one-week delay for that. And there is a calendar available online to show you the exact layout of the year just in case you need to see that. That's under the course schedule tab. Okay, those are great details. So uh, Linda, do tell us what ages or grades is the Mystery of History Online Academy designed for? Good question. Well, the live class, I'm really going to gear most towards your 8th through 12th graders. And that's because I'm going to help them achieve a high school credit. So I'll really be encouraging them, propelling them forward. Now, the self-paced class, um, we have a little bit more flexibility with that. So it would be open to students of all ages and learning abilities, though I really wouldn't recommend it to students any younger than 5th grade. And that's just because of the nature of the time period and the book being you know, written a little more difficult than, say, my volumes 1 or 2. Okay, well that leads us into the question of what materials do we need? I heard you mention the book. So Tyler, what materials will people need for this course? So you'll need the Mystery of History Volume 3 Student Reader and the Mystery of History Volume 3 Companion Guide. When you register for the class, whether you do the self-paced version or the live class with Linda, you'll get a digital copy of both of those. So you'll have a, an e-book or a Kindle version of the reader and a PDF copy of the companion guide so you can print out whatever you need. There's also an option if you want to get an extra copy of the reader, if you like having the hardback or if you've got more than one kid going through the class and they don't like to share their books, I know some families that, that's a thing, uh, we do offer a discount for students of the online academy to get those extra copies of the paper, uh, the paperback companion guide or the hardback reader. Um, in addition, we strongly recommend that you have a copy of either Wonder Maps or the Ram McNally Historical Atlas of the World and the Ram McNally Atlas of World Geography. So either the two paper atlases or 
the one copy of Wonder Maps, and that's just so that you can complete all of the geography assignments that are in the companion guide. So that's all you need as required texts. We, we give you the ebook copy of the reader and the companion guide, and then there's discounts if you want to have physical copies. And then there's also optional materials. We do offer uh, the audiobooks on CD and MP3, and then there's notebooking pages, folder books, challenge cards if you want to get those. Uh, we have the super supplemental collection, and there's another discount available for students of the academy, but those are all optional. If those are things that'll be helpful, go for it. If not, <laughs> feel free to skip. <laughs> And let me uh, remind all of our readers to, or listeners, excuse me, to go to brightideaspress.com. And there on the home page, you will see a new section that's titled Online Courses. When you click on that, you will easily be able to find this new Mystery of History Online Academy. And you will get all the details that you need right there on the website. So I wanted to remind everyone about that. Again, that's brightideaspress.com. So Tyler, what about parental involvement in the Online Academy? Hmm, that's a good question. So we believe that parents are ultimately responsible for issuing grades and credits to their students and monitoring their progress. So at the end of the year, we'll provide the parents with a report card that shows all of the grades that their kids have got on the quizzes. And we'll say, you know, based on these quiz grades, we recommend that you award whatever grade for one high school credit of world history. Um, so we try and make it as easy as possible for you by giving you those automatically graded quizzes. And we also provide a grading rubric if you want to include more than just their quizzes in their score. There's a way to calculate grades based on their readings and the homework and the activities and the other parts of the curriculum that aren't just automatically graded on the website. So you can be as detailed or as simple as you want with the grading um, so we, we just try and make it as easy for you as possible. There is some involvement because you're the parent, <laughs> but we try and keep it simple. Okay, that's helpful. Uh, Linda, please tell us, uh, how would you explain to a parent who's struggling with the decision of should I sign mm -hmm. up for the live class or the self-paced class? All right. It will be um, somewhat of a challenge, I think, to decide just because both are such good options. It really depends on maybe some family dynamics. But let me describe to you the benefits of the live class. Some of those are obvious, which is that in a live class, there will be interaction with peers, with me, and certainly um, that in itself, I think, will be fun for those who are looking for that. Um, now, students won't be required to speak in class, but of course I will encourage participation from all of them. I think this class could appeal to overachievers as well as those who just need some healthy motivation. That's what we're going to do is create some energy with each other. Weekly reading will be required. And I think for parents who have minimal time for teaching, we'll find the Online Academy a good option because we can be like an ally coming alongside them. And there's an added benefit, I think, to a live class is the, the correlation with we can make to current events just as a quick, quick story. Uh, for example, in the middle of Volume 3, we're going to meet Ismael I, who in 1501 decided that Iran would be a Shiite nation rather than Sunni. That is so relevant to current events because, as many of you know, with ISIS, um, all that it is, ISIS is a predominantly Sunni organization, and therefore that's why we don't see Iran particularly partnering with them right now. So we're going to learn about things like that in Volume 3 that affect us even today. Now as for the self-paced class, it still is a great option um, for those maybe fifth grade and up who aren't necessarily seeking a high school credit, though they could, um, but really for students who perhaps cannot attend class on a Tuesday, either because of time zone, they're somewhere else in the world, or just a schedule conflict, I think it'll also appeal to students who have some time but not as much time as they'd like for uh, the additional instruction with their students. Um, I can kind of step in and help and um, without imposing time restraints on a schedule. So really both are good options. I'd say sure if you can do live try but if you can't go self-paced either way I think it'll be a win-win. Definitely a win-win. I love that we're giving people options. So, uh, Tyler, what if someone signs up for the live class and then, whoops, something comes up, they miss one of the live sessions? What happens? If you miss one of the live sessions, then you can just go in and by the next week that video will be up. So you'll be able to see those recordings the same way that a self-paced student would be able to see them. So we're 
we're expecting probably a week delay. Maybe it'll be faster, but we, we don't want to promise that. So those videos will be available so you can make up that work really easily. If it's the kind of thing where you're just not going to be able to do Tuesdays on a regular basis, then I would suggest go with the self-paced course because that you, you don't want to just frustrate yourself that way. But if it's just a week or two or, you know, a random thing comes up or the house is on fire, it, that's all right. We got you covered. <laughs> That was a bad example. <laughs> that happened. Yeah. We mean that symbolically, metaphorically, of course. Your house is on fire with learning. Uh, <laughs> Linda, are there any class yeah. limits to the Mystery of History Online Academy? Yes, naturally, the live classes will be limited to approximately 25 students, and that's just for the obvious reason If we want to give a real quality experience to those who can join me live. That gives me more time to talk to each of them and time for them to speak with each other. And um, For the self-paced class, there really are no class size limits. Um, that can be endless because, again, it is self-paced, and so hopefully students from all over the world can join in when they need. So these uh, question and answers have been wonderful. I've even learned quite a few little tidbits myself that I didn't understand. But Tyler, what if um, some parents or students still have questions? What should they do? Uh, simply, you can email us, contact at brightideaspress.com, and we'll get back to you right away. Or you can give us a call at the office. The number here is 877-492-8081. No one's around to answer the phone. You can just leave a message, and we'll get right back to you. Wonderful. So everyone, if you're if you're listening, you don't have a pencil and paper around, don't worry. Just go to brightideaspress.com. You can find contact information on the site, and again on the home page, you'll see a link to the online courses, which will direct you direct you to the Mystery of History Online Academy. Uh, so glad you guys took the time to be with us today, Linda and Tyler. We so appreciate your spirit and your enthusiasm, and I can't wait to hear all the great things that comes out of the new Online Academy. And that's it for today, everyone. We will talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care. <laughs>